We went to West Fenwick Park in Kent, Washington. We explored a life-size shoots and ladders game, walked around the park, and saw the sports courts, field, and picnic areas. While we were there, we noticed that Lake Fenwick Park was just down the street. So a week later, we went back and explored the other side, where we stumbled across a disc golf course and walked around the lake. We are here at Lake Fenwick Park in Kent, Washington, and we're at the Slides and Climbers Park. It's basically a life-size shoots and ladders game. There are spinners throughout the game, but it's also recommended that you either bring a die or have an app on your phone to spin because the spinners are kind of spread apart. If you land on a triangle, you're going to either do the shoot or the ladder to go over to a circle, and there are lots of... Um, the ladders are going to be yellow and the slides are going to be your teal slides. So throughout the park there is many of those to explore or you could just play on the slides, climb up the ladders. Also around the park there's a walking trail. I went on it. These are the spinners throughout and it's um, 0.36 miles, so about a third of a mile. There's a basketball court, a field that you can play around in the field. Over there, there's also a soccer field as well as handball, three handball courts. There's two tennis courts to the left of the soccer field as well. So lots of things to do. There's bathrooms and a covered picnic area with four tables in it as well as some tables out in the open as well with some barbecue pits. There are swings. The kids are really enjoying the swings. And I think I said bathroom. The parking lot is over there behind the bathrooms. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's kind of small and it's almost full today. It's an April day on spring break, but it's a Friday morning at like 11. So it's pretty full today. And I'm assuming in the summertime it would be even more full as it gets nice. And that's the only parking lot that I see. There's not really street parking. So I'm not sure. I'm not too familiar with the area. I'd have to look at satellite to see. All right, we're at the Shoots and Ladder Park in Kent, Washington. It's a big game board. There are slides and ladders and little spinners around the board. So if I spin it, let's see. Can I do it? Four. Yeah, you can do it. One, two, three, four. There are triangles and circles on the board. I'm not quite sure what those are for yet. We just got here, so we're trying to figure it out. And the spinners aren't... I mean, they're kind of far apart, so you have to go back to a spinner and figure out where you're at if you're playing the actual game. We're just kind of going up to the next spinner and then spinning it. But obviously there are ladders throughout the park. There are slides that go down. So maybe if I were to land here, then I would need to go down the slide and that'd be at the other spot. So we're just playing around a little bit, seeing what it's like, but it's pretty cool. Lots of kids here on a cold April day, but it's also spring break and the sun's out, so. Walking around the trail. It was pretty good pavement at the first little bit. Now it's a little bit more concrete and uneven. So there are some people on, yeah. <laughs> there are some people uh, on their rollers going around, but it could be a little bit uneven, so just being careful. If you look around, there's a soccer field off in the distance. There's bathrooms by the parking lot as well as the playground that has swings and the chutes and ladders uh well they call it like slides and something i don't know slides copyrighted and slides and climbers and then a basketball court and then this little walking trail so we're just doing the walking trail to see how far the loop is um in case you're here and want to walk as well as play around a little bit we went to west fenwick park and then, as mentioned in the intro, a week later, we headed over to Lake Fenwick Park, where we stumbled upon a disc golf course on the opposite side of the road. As you can see from the map, West Fenwick Park and Lake Fenwick Park, as well as the disc golf course, are all close proximity to each other. We decided since West Fenwick Park and Lake Fenwick Park were so close together that we would walk through the residential areas to get there. However, we would advise you driving from West Fenwick Park to Lake Fenwick Park as there is no parking at the trailhead through the residential area. The lake, however, has its own parking lot 
the disc golf course does as well. So there's plenty of parking in both of those areas. And just east of here, down that hill, and off to the, well, east, to the left there, is Lake Fenwick Park. So, oh, and the skate park right here, a little bit of a parking lot over there. So we're gonna head down the road, down the hill there, go to Lake Fenwick and explore that a little bit, see what it's got to offer. So up the road there and to the right is where we came from, from West Fenwick Park. And we're here at Lake Fenwick Park. It says, trail open. Welcome, yeah. But it says we're entering a disc golf course, so watch for flying discs. So we're gonna keep an eye out for that. Didn't know there was a disc golf course here, so we'll see what that's like. There, coming down the hill from the entrance there, and then, oh yay, a drain. Uh, not too bad of a trail so far, so we're gonna keep hiking on that way. Like I said, back there at the entrance of the trail here to the park, there's a disc golf course in here. So this looks like one of the launching platforms. So we're gonna see what we find down there about it. So yeah, not too far down from where they had those uh, launching pads, there was actually a second one that was off to the right. We've got a couple disc golf holes. We stumbled across a parking lot down here. We see one hole kind of through the trees there. There's another hole off in the distance straight through there. Seven, this may be the starting area. There's 17, five, and then where we just came down, it says hole two. Here's a launching pad, and then just over the crest of the hill, you see uh, the cage up there that we just walked past. So where we just walked down from there, and then where we saw the parking lot there, uh, kind of cool. They have one hole in a boat. Uh, so it seems to be a tight course here. I don't know, we're not playing it right now. We didn't even know it was here. We just stumbled on it. So we're gonna come back and play it another day. We'll make a separate video for that. But looks pretty cool, at least to get out and just play some disc golf. Walking over there from the parking area that we came to, as we walked through the disc golf course area, that's the parking lot for it. Walked up the hill here a little bit. And this is the entrance into Lake Fenwick Park itself. So we're gonna go inside and explore it a bit. One of, I'm sure, and I hope is many parking lots. This one, not very big. Uh, here's one end of the lake. And we're gonna explore that way because although you can't really see it right now, I'll get back up here. There's a trail that goes down along here. So we're gonna walk along over there and see what we find there. So we hiked around from over there. We just came from back that direction. Yeah, no swimming. I don't blame them. This does not look like something I'm going to want to swim in. So this is Lake Fenwick and non-motorized boat launch that we're at. And there's a, not really a walkway, <laughs> not really a pier or a dock or anything, but nice place i think where we could come down and just go kayaking peacefully maybe on a nicer warmer day uh there's the boat launch right through there but not too huge of a lake not a whole lot going on but quiet coming from the boat launch over there across a little walkway now there were some ducks they didn't like our presence so they swam off over there and the trail goes on a little bit over here. We're gonna see if it loops around or ends up here somewhere. Turns out this was a loop. That's the small parking lot we were at just a little bit ago. And looking out over the lake, the trail we just came down. And just over there through, there you can see a pier. So got some fishermen off over there. I don't know what's in the water here, but if it's any kind of respecting lake in Washington, it should have some trout in it. So maybe that's a good activity. Come out, sit on the pier, take the kayaks out, do some fishing. <laughs> 